This is how to crochet the chevron ripple stitch. For this stitch, we need multiples of 8 plus 7 for our beginning chain, and in this case, I used two multiples of 8 to get to 16, and then I added 7 to get to 25. So for this swatch, I'm using 25 chains. Then, starting with the second chain from the hook, I'm going to single crochet into 5. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. After this stitch, I'm going to put 3 single crochet into 1 chain, and that's also going to be the beginning of my repeats. The parentheses in a pattern mean that whatever is included in the parentheses is going to be repeated in a sequence. So I'm going to single crochet once into the next 5 chains. The 3 single crochet is the tip of our chevron, and then after these 5 single crochet, we're going to skip two chains for the bottom of our chevron. And then we're going to single crochet once into the next five chains. Repeats are usually identified with parentheses or asterisks. In this case, it's parentheses, and then the asterisk indicates how many times you need to repeat that sequence. In this case, it's until there are six chains remaining. If you started your project with more than 25 chains, you would repeat this sequence however many times you need to until there are six chains left. Then for the last six chains, we're going to add three single crochet into one and then one single crochet into the next five chains before we chain one and turn for row two. I included the pattern notes so that we can start practicing reading patterns and translating them into stitches. So if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like and follow, and part two will be in the comments.